Hey guys, welcome back to the Brook Trout Homestead. Uh, first and foremost, we would like to say a huge thank you uh, for helping us reach the 500 mark for subscribers. Uh, we're really appreciative of that. We thank y'all so much. Um, we're gonna be doing a seed giveaway for the 500 mark that we've reached. We'll get more into that at the end of the video. So first, let's get into what we've been doing here at the garden. All right guys, so like he said, we're super excited about the 500 followers. Um, keep liking, keep subscribing. Um, that really helps us out. Um, today we wanted to go over kind of what we were doing today. Uh, today is really hot, <laughs> but we got up, I went to ladies prayer. Um, he was here with the boys and he was just getting a head start on some cleanup in the garden. Um, we're not quite there to fall gardening yet because we have such a long season of growing, but we're preparing the beds. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit of the importance of flowers in the garden. Uh, when I first started gardening, that's kind of the last thing I planted. Uh, I was more, I want to eat. I want food I can eat. I want to grow my vegetables. I just want food. That's really all I wanted um, until I realized a great big thing, um, pollination. If you do not have a lot of flowers in your garden, um, you're not gonna get that pollination that you want. Um, you're just not gonna be attracting a lot of the pollinators. Uh, there's more pollinators than just honeybees and bumblebees. Um, there's butterflies and moths, uh, wasps, uh, just flies. Like there's so, there is a wide range of different pollinators and you want them all in your garden. They all do something for your plants I've noticed the more flowers that we grow, the more natives and perennials that we grow, um, the better things happen in the garden. Like we even have less pests this way. I guess maybe they want to eat the flowers first. I don't know what's going on, but we have less pests, so I am all for it. Plus it's beautiful. Your garden looks great when you have a ton of flowers everywhere. Um, so I really wanted to encourage that. We're, we went ahead and did some cleanup as far as our wildflower garden. It got completely overgrown. Um, we had sunflowers here in Texas. Common sunflowers are very common. Uh, they get out of control and they take up a lot of space and they become to the point where they're shading out very beneficial plants that we wanted. So we had to do a lot of ripping out today, mostly my husband. And so right now we're at a point where most of the garden in the wildflower bed is bare and we're going to do some bulbs and I'm going to plant more wildflowers towards the fall season, a little bit later in the season, maybe probably September, October. So we're going to have to go and just show you that real quick. As my wife was saying, we did a lot of cleanup today. Um, very hot I'm still sweating out here and it's like six o'clock in the evening uh, but as you can tell this whole area that I'm in right now used to be completely covered where you couldn't even walk back here you couldn't even see what was here honestly uh, the zinnias just overgrew quite a bit another other wildflowers I mean it grew out all the way past to where I'm sitting or standing today you couldn't even see these logs that were in front of me it was so overgrown uh, so we came through here, we ripped out all the plants that were in here pretty much except for a few of the ones that we wanted to save. Um, and we put down some new compost, got it from a, uh, Ron's Organics, which is a, a gardening store that's close to us. Um, so we got that, we laid a good layer of compost here. And all the stuff that we took from here, we actually made a compost pile, which is over here to my left. So as I said, this is our new compost pile. Uh, we tried to do some gardening in this corner, but it seemed to never work. It always was just a really weird spot for us. We could, I think we tried potatoes here before. Uh, we've even tried planting trees here, and it just seems like nothing really works for us. Um, so we literally, all this pile that you see before me was in that garden bed that I was just standing in. So you can tell how much stuff we pulled out of there. So we took it, we just threw it over here. I'm gonna put it more into a better pile behind me. And we're just gonna let this break down. We're gonna let it compost. I'm gonna be adding my grass clippings to it. Um, and we're gonna just create a natural compost pile right here in our backyard. Hey, use what you got. 
Okay, so what you guys see here, um, it was actually piping from a plumbing company that my husband works at. Um, we used these for potatoes previously, and then just now we took out all of our cucumbers probably a few days ago. Um, they were getting all ugly and stuff. This is a great time to go ahead and plant okra and cucumbers, sweet corn. Um, like I said, Texas has a long growing season. Um, right now we're just leaving it here until we can get our potatoes in. This worked amazing for our potatoes, so we're going to keep up with that. Um, I took the cucumbers out. We also planted some tomatoes to the right of me. I don't know if you can see that, but um, yeah, we went. Uh, what I did with the tomatoes is I cut a few good branches off my older tomatoes, which are still producing. They don't look great, but they're still producing, so I'm happy with them. Um, I rooted them in water, and once the roots grew to my liking, I planted them in the dirt, added some good compost, um, some bone meal, and I'm kind of just letting it take off. Uh, they're doing really well, so I'm kind of happy about that. There's still time to go ahead and plant some tomato starts or do it that way. Um, too late for seed, but you can plant the starts. All right, guys, so I'm super excited about being able to give back um, to our subscribers. Um, this is kind of how we imagined our giveaway. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you what I'm giving away and then I can discuss how you would be entered into this. So I have some packets of seeds I got from the Winter Garden One on Etsy. She sells awesome seeds for the fall garden. Um, they're heirloom, so that makes it even better. I have Georgia Southern Collards, the Triton Purple Daikon Radish, Noble Giant Spinach, Canton Pak Choi, and Rainbow Carrot Blend. These are exciting varieties. We've actually grown the carrots before, but the other varieties we have not grown before. So I thought it would be kind of cool for us to grow them and also our winner to grow them. And maybe you can go ahead and check in with us later on and on how your veggies are doing. Um, I was thinking about giving away some flower seeds, but I don't know. I just really was curious about these uh, varieties and I'm really big on native flowers and perennials of your area. And I wanted to make sure that you were able to plant what we were giving away. Um, so the way we're going to do this is go ahead, like our video, make sure you're subscribed and comment below what your favorite flower and vegetable is that you enjoy growing and then you will be entered in our giveaway also in addition the giveaway is going to end the first day of september so september the first will be the last time you can comment and um, join our giveaway september 2nd will be the day that we will give our winner out and send our seeds hopefully that week. Thank, Thank you so much for tuning in. We're so thankful for all of your support. Um, I started this channel, well we started this channel last year and I didn't think it would be anything like this. We really enjoy helping others. We really enjoy growing ourselves. We're no expert. Um, I look to a lot of great uh, YouTubers and people in my area um, there's the Dallas Garden from Instagram, uh, Epic Gardening. Uh, James Frigioni has an awesome gardening channel. That's kind of where we got the whole wood chip thing from. Um, the Back to Eden Garden Method. There's a lot of great people that have poured into us without even knowing. And I just want to give glory to God. Furthermore, like he's been so good to us. Testimony after testimony. I can go on forever and I'm just glad that he was able to bless us with this garden, bless us with our home and our family. And I pray that your gardening goes just as well. You keep working at it. I know a lot of people say they have a black thumb. No, your thumb is green. You just got to do your research. Try, try, try again. We love you all so much and God bless you.